I don't normally talk about uh, business entities and business structures on this channel. I usually keep it to estate planning and elder law, but I do uh, have another company of which I'm a co-founder, Fortress Asset Protection. We just had a consultation uh, for that company with my co-founder, Jason Sampson, who I know will do his own version of TikTok on that channel later tonight. But I figured maybe you guys would be interested in this. So just ran into a really nice couple, husband and wife. Uh, husband is a uh, real estate broker and they have 16 properties that up until last year, they all had in their own name. And we all know that's a terrible idea for liability purposes. But they went to see a business law attorney here in the Tampa Bay area that told them they need to create four LLCs, put four properties in each LLC, so about $1.5 to $2 million of assets uh, of equity in each LLC, which I think is a little high, and then told them that they should have a Florida holding company own all four, and that that would provide them some measure of asset protection. Well, the problem with that is that the parent company, the holding company, is also the management company who is going to get sued if something goes bad in any of those rentals. And so they've just circumvented the problem that they tried to solve by creating LLCs. So if they sue the individual LLC that owns the property, they can get to $2 million of assets. But if they sue the management company, whose company owns all of the subsidiary LLCs, they're back to having all 16 properties uh, available to pay a judgment. And that's well over $5 million, almost $6 million in assets. So as I'm looking through their, their corporate legal docs, uh, I'm noticing like there's no uh, S election for their LLC for taxation. There is no operating agreements. And so I asked the client, and, and while we were in the consultation, the client calls the other lawyer and says, hey, um, where are my operating agreements? And this is the best answer of the day. The attorney goes, was I supposed to include those? I got nothing. Am I supposed to include those? Well, the answer is if you're a halfway decent lawyer, yes. And if you were a halfway decent asset protection lawyer, you wouldn't have exposed your client for $6 million of liability through your structures. So, if you're going to find a business law attorney, find one that knows what they're doing. I know that's sometimes hard to do, but you got to be careful because just because they have Esquire at the end of their name or JD at their designation doesn't mean they know their ass from a hole in the ground in the area that they purport to practice in. Have a great day.